All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 36. And in this lesson, we're going to be relating subtraction from 10 to all the corresponding decompositions, which is a fancy way of saying we're going to be finding all of the number bonds that uh, relate to the number 10 as our whole. For example, 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7. You get the idea. It's important that students develop their a real strong understanding of all the number pairs that equal 10 um, because this is a real profound strategy that is going to be important uh, as we move forward. So teachers, given the fact that that's our goal is to find all of those number bonds that equal 10, consider turning this into a game rather than and kind of skip this lesson or or uh, we don't want to focus on the lesson itself as if it's important. What's really important is that students just get tons and tons of experience looking for number pairs that equal 10. So 2 and 8 is equal to 10. 8 and 2 is equal to 10. So the idea might be, what can we do to get that experience? Well, one idea could be, Let's roll a 10-sided die, and that 10-sided die will give us a number. Oh, let's say it gives us 6. And then the idea would be, well, what is our next value going to be if we want 10? Oh, let's roll the die again. Oh, the die gives us a 3. Yay! And so what do we need in order to get a 10? Oh, we need a 7. So... Play games is another way to do it. You can do a matching game. Uh, if you're looking for, um, you, you can have cards that are all, like playing memory, you know, where you have them all laying face down. And the kids, students can be uncovering one card, and then their job is to look for the other card that matches with the six to equal ten. So the kids might say, well, I've got a six, where is the four? And so they might play the concentration game or memory game. Uh, we, can, we can make this fun. We don't have to just turn this into a worksheet uh, blank filling experience where kids are just filling in the blank. Uh, consider making this a, an engaging activity. Uh, but let's go on because this lesson is a good lesson and it's super important. So let's um, look at the uh, specific problems. So here, um, they're still using that bracelet and the, and the beads on the pipe cleaner. Uh, you are allowed to consider using the um, 10 frame as you go. For example, uh, this one might start off with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we'd say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we know we're going to cross off these two. And that leaves us with the remaining 8. All right, so we would have our students fill in 10 minus 2 is 8. And then the next number sentence would be 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. So we can use our 10 frames, or we can go ahead and continue using those number bracelets. Just more of the same kind of practice, only this time... We're connecting it to the number bonds, and they're adding a little bit of level of complexity. I'll take a look at problem six. So we've got 10 minus blank equals six, and what we want students to begin recognizing is that they would put the 10 here because it's the whole. The six is going to be one of the two parts, and then we want students to maybe count with their fingers. They can use drawings if they want. Um, definitely, they could be using the 10 frame, right? And the 10 frame, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 10 frame would look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And they could, if they wanted to, they could say, well, here's 6. And so what are we missing? We're missing the 4. And so the 4 would go right here. And so the number sentence would be 10 minus 4 equals 6, and 10 minus 6 equals 4. We just are going to be 
lots and lots of practice on these number bonds that equal, number pairs that equal 10. And the last slide on this video is we've got our number bonds over here. We've got a series of number sentences over here. We're going to fill in everything and then connect them. Now I'm going to make this quick and I'm just going to fill in. So we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five. Oh, that's an interesting pattern, huh? Two, three, four, five. Is the next answer six? No, it's one. All right, and then we want students over here filling them out. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 10 minus 1 is 9, 8, 6, and 7. No pattern going on there. And then, of course, we want them to write the extra number sentence. So in this case, it'd be 10 minus 9 equals 1, and this would be 10 minus 8 equals 2, 10 minus 6 equals 4, and 10 minus 7 equals 3. Students might be seeing patterns. They might be saying, hey, you always take the 10, that goes first. Whatever used to be the answer becomes part of the problem. And whatever used to be part of the problem becomes the answer. Students might be looking for patterns and seeing patterns like that. Now, that's not a real strong, awesome pattern. But it's important that we foster the concept of looking for patterns. Let your students look for patterns because that's really the nature of mathematics right there. And then we're, we want students to look for the matching groups, the matching pairs, right? And so there we go. <laughs> and that wraps up first grade module one, lesson 36, where the real main point of this lesson was looking for the number bonds that equal 10.